Hi, I'm Albert. I'm recreating the arcade version of the classic game Zaxxon from scratch. Welcome to my devlog. Last holidays I took on a fun little challenge, recreating Ice Climber from scratch for PC, based on the original Nintendo Entertainment System version. I documented the whole process in a series of devlog videos. People seem to enjoy it, and honestly I had such a great time building it that I have decided to do it again, this time with another iconic game from the 80s. My other passion is developing side projects and sharing my knowledge with the community, just for fun and for the joy of teaching. This is the reason my YouTube channel exists. As a kid, I spent countless hours playing Zaxxon on my Amstrad CPC 1640. Like many software engineers, I enjoy creating games in my free time. These small projects help me fulfill my lifelong interest in game development. The main motivation is that for this project I will not use any existing game engine, such as Unity, Unreal or Godot. I will build the game from scratch using the C++ programming language. During these devlog videos I will show you how I turn this proof of concept into this. If you want to follow the progress and support me, I will really appreciate it if you give me a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much! The pseudo 3D environment felt incredibly innovative at the time and offered a truly unique gameplay experience. Thanks to its popularity, in the early 80s, Saxon was quickly ported to nearly every major platform of the time, making it accessible beyond the arcade. Even though the MS-DOS version was far less polished compared to the other ports like the Commodore 64 or MSX, I still have really fond memories of it. Several TV commercials were hired to promote the game, aiming to bring the arcade experience into players' homes. The game also made brief appearances in a few movies and music videos, for instance, in Friday the 13th Part 4 and in the music video for Blue Monday by New Order. Zaxxon is simple and entertaining, the game's graphics and animations are very basic, and this is a point in my favor since my main skill is software programming, not graphic design. The levels are very small and easy to design, yet they contain a variety of hostile elements that interact differently with the player and the environment. I will start by reading the game's instruction manual and playing a few sessions of the arcade version. This way, I will have a global understanding of all the game elements. Then, I will identify the most important challenges I should face. Among them will surely be collision detection and changes in the state of the ship and enemies. For each challenge, I will study the most appropriate programming technique or pattern to solve it. In the last step of the analysis process, I will define the main architecture of the game and its components. Ok, that's going to wrap up this first episode. I'm happy with what I have done so far, but there is still a lot of work to do. I look forward to showing you my progress next time. Thank you for watching.